Last week, very off camera, I took down the bubble wrap from my front room window here. I don't think we're going to get any really cold weather now. Um, and I've put out my broad beans uh, because they are desperate to get out of doors. Uh, a couple of them did die and what's left is putting in an effort, it's putting in a, a valiant effort but I don't know that, how well they're going to do. So I've now put them out and we'll see what happens. If they come to nothing then I'm going to replant. Um, I've got lo I bought loads of seeds so we'll be okay. But um, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt because they are trying very hard. Lots of new shoots coming up and hopefully now putting them outside in proper fresh air will help them. So this week I have taken off the bubble wrap off the bedroom window. But you get to see this one because you saw it going up. And it's so nice to have that all that light coming through. I, uh, I planted up some more seeds, so I planted some sweet peas for my parents. They have started to sprout, and they came started to come up really quickly. And I've also planted myself some tomatoes, some cherry tomato bushes, which I plant every year, and some of those have started to come up as well. So I feel like there's enough daylight now that um, things are really starting to emerge. I'm going to be going away fairly soon. So... I'm not going to be planting anything else yet because it's got to survive two weeks without me and I mean it probably won't get too warm. The earth that I'm using to plant things indoors is staying quite damp because it's not getting that warm indoors yet. So I probably could sow seeds now and see them starting to germinate when I get back. But I've decided I'm probably just going to wait because I've got too much else going on. 
Um, the end of the month is galloping around faster than I expected and I'm not as organised as I should be. But um, yeah, so the bubble wrap came off and that was lovely and now I have that window back. So we're all ready for spring now and it's just a case of waiting for the daylight. We've had some lovely sunny days um, where and the plants, the house plants just look amazing and they love sitting in the daylight. So that's been really, really good. Really enjoyed that. My, um, I can show you this. I don't know if this is going to show on camera. Look at my Venus flytrap. It's, it never died over winter. And I did keep it in. I decided to keep it in. But it never died. And it's throwing out loads of new traps. And this thing at the top, is that going to turn into a flower? Or whatever else it's doing there seems to be another one right at the base that looks similar you can see that there are two new ones coming up so i don't know what's going on anyway look there's remains of a fly in there i need to deal with that and there's a remains of a fly in another one i can't remember where it is uh but this little chap is doing so well he's such fun to look at and he's very enthusiastic enjoying spring or spring as it is coming um, there aren't any flies for it to catch yet but I have no expectation that it has any ability to catch its own flies because I had to feed it all of last year the three months that I that I had it last year but it's fun to have and I might get um, a sundew as well I know I can get it from the same shop that I got my fly trap from so I might go and get one of those that might work better for the small flies because I don't think the small flies trigger the traps so we get the little the little soil gnats the little midges the little black flies that live in house plants and the sundew might be better for that so I'm going to go and have a word with her when I get back from my two weeks away Yeah, so that that's that little update. Um, it's what it is.